sneak on in here. You can't come with me, okay? Get the old girl fired up here. Here we go. What is happening guys? Welcome back to another video here on Loud and Proud. Guys, I have not been keeping up with the YouTube stuff super regularly, I know, but I hope you guys are going to enjoy this video. The last one I filmed was about a week ago, which means today is your last day of the launch week 30X bonus entry period. So if you want to grab those 30X entries, hurry up and do that. There's no better time to enter than now. 30X is the highest entry multiplier of the entire giveaway. So grab 30X while you can. We did just restock all of our detailing products and kits and stuff. So make sure you go check those out if you guys want to get in on that. These are some of the best detailing products in the industry. And I'm not just saying that because it's our product and I'm biased because I am biased. So they really are absolutely fantastic products. This truck went from smelling like a work truck and now it smells like a brand new truck. So if you want to grab some of those products, I highly suggest you do before they sell out again, because then you're not gonna be able to grab them until we get them restocked. The guy that I bought the truck off of, I believe the truck was stock when he got it, so everything that I tell you right now is going to be everything that is currently done to the truck. This truck is not quite as built as like the 05, 5.9 that we had that had the ratchet shifter with the firepunk trans and it had you know the s467 or yeah i think it was an s467 second gen swap setup on it um it was just it was a different build way bigger injectors and a bunch of other stuff but that truck made a lot more power that truck made over 800 horsepower and it was just a monster like it was scary to drive like when you you know hit the throttle with four locked up it would just squeal all four tires hard i mean it was a lot of fun but this truck is like a small power downgrade in terms of craziness but it's a super fun and enjoyable to drive power setup so we're gonna go through some of those things and we're gonna go on a drive here and let you guys kind of have a little more insight on how this truck performs and how it drives and give you guys a little more to get excited about with this truck right now but like I said guys 30 times entries do end tonight at midnight so if you haven't grabbed your entries yet or maybe you want to grab a few more while 30x is still on make sure you do that guys before some other things sell out and because why not a sweet third gen. Anyways guys, why not? Because it's the highest entry multiplier and you might as well get them now before it drops down. So anyways guys, best of luck to you. Let's get on to the video. Now I do have some other updates for you guys as well, but I'm going to save some of the fine details for another time until we get some things moving along here. We did sell some stuff because we're making some geographical location changes. So you guys can fill in the blank. ABS sensor light on there for whatever reason that's still on and it's been checked and still just tripping the ABS code for whatever reason. We're just gonna keep on driving it here, get a little more uh, drive time in this thing. I'm trying to show you guys the boost and the acceleration here. I'm just feathering the throttle right now, letting it warm up a little bit first. Taking it on a little loop here to get it warmed up. <laughs> that thing built like 40 pounds of boost so fast. Like I said, this, the turbo setup on this thing is amazing. It spools so, so nicely. Very smooth acceleration. to give the old 7.3 a little smoke show, you know what I mean? Turn here, and then there's a real nice road here to do a nice straight pole. Before it got 
to the rough part of the road. And these are not like throttle all the way down pulls. I mean, these are fairly light pulls. I'm just kind of laying into it nice and smooth to do an acceleration pull. We did get a lot of rain recently, so there's some wet spots on the road. I'd rather not take out a mailbox, trash can, or put the truck in a ditch when we just got a little bit of moisture on the road because I'd rather keep the truck in good shape other than try to prove a point with the video. We're gonna get another good pull up here. Just a nice smooth acceleration pull, nothing crazy. Like from a roll, let's say get it down to like 20 or 30 and just you know lay into it nice and smooth and let you guys see how it pulls. Once this car passes by. There we go. Now what I'd really love is if we can get a nice dry day and do some four-wheel drive boosted launches. I think that'd be pretty cool to do one or two of those. You guys can kind of get a get an idea of how this would compare to the other one because the other truck, the other 5.9 LMP DG25, that truck was performance tuned to basically drive like a drag truck. So it was tuned very different. I'm gonna go through all the build specs on this truck in terms of what all has been done to it. This truck is built a little more how do I put it? It's more on the conservative side. And when I say that, I don't mean it's like, oh, the trick doesn't make any power. It makes power, but this truck is set up to make power in a very daily mannered truck. It's very daily driver oriented to be like, hey, if I'm rolling down the street and I want to do a pull with a sports car, it's got plenty of power above stock, but, but it's not like so much power with such a crazy tune on it that like daily driving, it's completely difficult and you don't really like doing it. Like it's not enjoyable to daily drive. The white truck, it was fun, but it didn't like to be daily driven. It wanted to be pedal to the metal all the time because of the way that it was tuned it was very thirsty for fuel like it wanted all the fuel so like the throttle was super sensitive which again drag truck tuning is basically what it had done to it it just loved fuel and if you didn't give it a lot of fuel it just wasn't as fun to drive so this truck is tuned and put together very different compared to that and we're gonna go through the main differences and um Again, it's all personal preference and how you want your truck set up. This, for me personally, if you're wanting a more daily drivable truck, this is a very daily driver friendly performance build. So we're gonna get back on over to the house here. We're gonna go over some specs. And then after we do that, I wanna give you guys a couple of personal updates on our situation. Do one more little pull here. school zone and we gotta stop but check out the interior on this thing no dash cracks anywhere it's got an upgraded head unit everything works by the way and everything functions beautifully you got a full detail in here everything's been clean interior exterior under the hood absolutely beautiful 0759. So it's a second gen swap setup with an S366 SXE turbo. It's a steed speed manifold on it. Transmission is Firepunk built, rated for 750 horsepower. It has billet, intermediate, and input shafts, triple disc torque converter, far from stock traction bars, MM3 transmission tuning, and it's running a max effort single hot tune. And it's running an AirDog 200 lift pump on it along with a bed mounted transmission cooler. It does have exotic head studs, AFE intake elbow, a cold air intake setup that I believe was from stainless diesel. It is also running a five inch exhaust from the turbo back. Now in terms of some personal stuff, there's some stuff I wanna keep you guys updated on. I'm not gonna give you all the fine details. I already told you, you know, gave you a hint in the beginning. We're making a geographical location change. We are in the process of moving. I'm not going to give you location. I'm not going to showing you anything about the house and the new shop that we're going to be working on and all this other stuff yet. We're just going to kind of leave that in the shadows for now until everything is finalized and done and we're actually like moved just because I got to leave some stuff like unsaid until the timing is right because there's some stuff that I'm really excited to film for you guys in this new process with like actually having a shop and stuff like that, which I'm super pumped about because the animal barn thing, it's been a good temporary fix for like rainy days and stuff. 
but it is just not where I want to be in terms of like having an actual shop space just for truck stuff. And then the wife having an actual animal barn just for animal stuff that's like her barn, her thing, and I can have like my shop, my thing, so we can actually do some more stuff to the trucks and have a good comfortable workspace to do that. All this is in the works right now as I've been hinting towards for the last few months, like hey, we're gonna be moving soon, we're not gonna have to deal with you know, people stopping by and, you know, saying hi and looking at the trucks and revving up and doing burnouts in front of the house. It's all cool and stuff until it's done like all the time. And then it's like very frustrating because like you can't film a video without people revving up because they think it's cool. Or you can't even, you know, hang out in the yard with the kid without people honking at you and stuff. And I, and I get it. Like nobody's like being mean by it. I don't think everybody's just kind of saying hi in a different way, whether it's honking, revving your truck up or doing a burnout. I'm guessing most of you guys are just saying hi, like what's up? You know, it does get to a point where you wouldn't mind having some more privacy, some more like space to yourself to where people aren't so interfering with like you simply wanting to walk from your house to your barn with your kid and not have people honking at you and revving up their trucks and stuff. And it, you know, it's just one of those things where like we're ready for a different atmosphere and a different space and with more privacy. So we're looking forward to the change. Super excited. We'll keep you guys updated as we go. And do not forget that if you want to enter to win this truck plus $5,000 cash, you could grab a hoodie like this one, a hat kind of like this one. Actually, this might be a one of one limited edition cold start coffee cap my bed you might not actually get one of those the car care products these things are absolutely phenomenal or you can get a household essential such as coffee this is our cinnabon coffee we have like over 50 or 60 different varieties not all of them are flavored coffee this is just one that i happen to have in the truck but we do have tons of different coffees to choose from you could probably almost smell it through the camera it's so good it's this is absolutely amazing if you guys want to check it out freshest coffee you're going to get on the internet. It is roasted the same day that it ships. So we don't like bag it all up, stock it on a shelf for a month and say, well, hopefully we sell it and then ship it out, you know, all old and not fresh. We don't like pre-bag it in advance and just stock it and wait for somebody to buy it. Keep in mind when you subscribe to our coffee auto ship service, whether it's every seven, 14 or 30 days, that's up to you to decide. Not only do you get the freshest coffee available on the internet, automatically shipped to your door every single one of those time increments that you choose, but you also get a discount for doing that. I believe it's 10% off when you subscribe to an auto shipment. And not only that, but you're drinking coffee and it'll automatically, every time it renews to ship you more fresh coffee, Coffee, it's also going to get you entered to win our current giveaway truck at the time. So for example, there were a bunch of people that bought coffee to get entered to win this blue truck right here. And some of them subscribed to auto ship and they've already been automatically entered into this current giveaway and they didn't even have to get back on the site to restock on their coffee. They didn't have to do anything. It's just automatically it renews. We sent them a brand new fresh bag of coffee to keep them well stocked and they automatically got entered to win our current truck and they might not even know what it is, but they're still entered to win it plus the cash. So anyways, guys, it's one of those products that a lot of people are already buying it. Just they're buying a lot of crappier stuff and they're already spending money on it anyways. Why not buy high quality stuff that could also get shipped right to your door regularly if you choose that and it gets you entered to win trucks like this plus thousands of dollars in cash. Thanks so much for all the love, all the support. We'll catch you in the next video. Peace.